Hey, good morning. Edith, is this the first time I've seen you on here, Edith? I'm not sure whether I've seen you before. You may have been here before, but it's nice to get a message for you. Thanks for joining us today. Um, Rosa, thank you. Look forward to you uh, being with us today as well. It, uh, it's always great to have you here. Kirk, good morning to you and to your wife, Kirk. Hope you guys are doing great. Uh, Kathy, long time. Uh, Audrey, Audrey, how are you doing? I hope you got your board out and ready. It's a very simple workout today, but dynamic as far as the effect it has. Kathy Stepani, a uh, pleasure to see you on here. I know you're not doing the workout with us, but Kathy has uh, some amazing boys. I coached both of her sons many years ago. They wanted to play professionally, and her younger son uh, was one of the main characters in a, a music video that I shot many years ago as well. So great to see you. Shirlene, what? You won't be able to go live today. You can't join, but you're gonna join later on YouTube. That is not acceptable, young lady. You have to cancel whatever you're doing because there's nothing more. Okay, yeah, okay, I get it. Um, my message for today, uh, first off, the, the workout today is gonna be very simple. I've had some messages come through. The people actually really enjoy the Tuesday class and find they get more out of it because we go a little slower and it really helps connect your, your brain and your body together and to be able to perform uh, in everyday life. So we've got a very simple workout today. Um, it's really going to be about feeling as we normally do and going through things slow. Uh, even top athletes will still go through their technique slow. Someone like um, Usain Bolt won't just go out and run as fast as he can. He'll make sure his technique's good. And that's exactly what we're doing on Tuesdays is going slow and make sure the uh, connection and the feeling and the, the technique is good. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and uh, ask. And I'll, at the end, if I can't do it during the, the workout, I'll certainly address it later. Or you can send me messages through the 60 Up Facebook as well. Um, so my message for today, as we all know, it's been a um, very challenging emotional time um, with the COVID and the current situation that's going on that I don't want to get into too much. Um, but I do want to talk about a friend of mine who, uh, Ian Cross, um, Ian left us today and he was someone that I performed with on stage for many years. And one of the things about Ian was how kind he was. Um, constantly there with a smile and a hug and always making people feel better about themselves, not putting people down or judging them, but always making them feel so special about who they were. And his kindness is something that we could all embrace right now. There's a lot of people out there that we know have a lot of uh, anger and frustration. It's not necessarily about you. It's that they're not happy in, in where they are and they've got to find things to pick on other people. And I really think that as we embrace others and we show them care and love as Ian did, um, I think it's so important that we take that quality that we have and, and try and embrace other people and encourage other people to be kinder and nicer. Because with that, we're gonna improve, we're gonna get better, we're gonna get stronger, both individually and as a community. And we know as the community gets stronger, so do we individually. Um, I wanna thank Bonnie, a very good friend of mine back in England, for all the things that uh, he's helped me understand through the years as well. And if there's one thing I could wish for everybody today, it's peace and love and a positive attitude that we can go out and we can make a difference together. And it starts with us giving ourselves love and being the best level of excellence that we can be. So with that said, I'm gonna jump onto the workout today. Let's make it great. Let's make it all about you. Let's make sure that you give yourself that care to go through the program and find everything that makes life invaluable to live. All right, let's get going. Okay, the first thing obviously, put my gloves on. So again, very, very simple workout today. But I don't want you to look at the simplicity. I want you to look at the simple things that we're doing in here. Just rocking the board side to side and um, just again, feeling your body begin to sway with the board. Now, the board should not be saving your body. The board should be moving with your body, but it's there for stability. So if you look, my knees are bent and I'm just swaying side to side, but I feel in control the whole time. Now, as you do this, if you wanna take your fingers 
or your thumb and put it on top, but keep the rock exactly the same and you'll feel the pressure goes to the outside of my left foot, outside of my right foot, and I'm learning with a sway to be stronger on the outside of my feet. Now as I go through to the side, bend the leg, bend the leg, bend the leg, because I'm starting to strengthen up my leg as I begin to fall or feel off balance, I can push back, I can save, I can push back. I can save, I can push back. There you go, just nice and easy, just feeling that step. Now what I want you to do here is lift your leg and step and rock. Lift your leg, step and rock. So all we're doing in here is just a little movement. I step, I begin to lose my balance, I push back. And again, the board is nice and easy the, uh, going with you, but also if you begin to go, you can push back on the handles. Just about five more seconds. We've got about 30 minutes left of the workout to go. Good, and come back to the center. Now what I want you to do is just lift your feet, nice and easy. And when you're doing this, I want you to consciously think of balance and balance. Think consciously of balance again. If you want to use your fingers on top of the pole and you can grab them for safety, or if you're feeling really good this morning, just let go and keep your hands above the pole so if you go, you can grab hold of them. So it's just balance and balance and balance and balance and balance. Good, and bring the foot back to the ground. What I want you to do is just rock side to side again. Good, my feet are a little bit wider. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and balance. So come in and balance, one. Now rock side to side. Now step on your right foot, lift your leg and balance. Boom, and you'll notice we're slightly coming from the center to the side because my foot's slightly off center. So now come across on your left foot and balance. And again, the board, you're trying to stop it from rocking. Are you ready? Go to your right foot, lift the left. And you'll notice your arms are slightly off center, so you're really working that balance point great. And here we go, left foot, lift the right. Find that balance. I got one more test for you. Here we go, last one on this one. Lift your left foot, balance on the right. Good, now, this is the next test for you. What I want you to do is rock the board side to side, bring your feet slightly closer together. Now, lift your right leg, balance on your left, and wobble the board side to side. See if, as your upper body moves, your leg is completely stable. Good, bring your right foot to the ground, wobble the board, find the middle, lift your left leg, and wobble the board. Keeping that balance on that leg and feel how solid you feel. We're gonna be working on the ground being solid. Good, bring it back down. Okay, so that kind of gets us warmed up for the day and you'll see very simple, very safe, very comfortable, but working and focusing on where your balance is knowing it can get better if you're wobbly and if you feel solid and safe, we're ready to progress. Okay, next exercise, just lifting the foot and tapping on the board. This is normally how we start most of our uh, workouts, just getting the leg relative to the lift and the soft touch. And again, the leg that stays on the ground is the one that is really working on the balance and the one that's lifting is working on mobility. Good, now just stop for a second. What I want you to do is watch here. We're gonna go tap, step, tap, come back down, I'll show you one time on the left. You tap, lift, step, and can you come back and find that balance and tap again? Here we go on the right foot. You tap and lift, now you step, now you lift and tap and come back. Let's try it again on the left. Tap and lift, step, lift, tap and come back. Here we go again. Tap and lift, step, Tap and lift, come back, left leg. Tap and lift, step, lift, tap, and come back down again. What we're trying to do here is find that balance as quick as we can. So again, right foot, tap, lift, step, lift, tap, come down. And if you're wobbly, it's okay, you're gonna get better. Left foot, tap and lift, then step, then lift, tap 
and come back down. One more time each side. Right foot tap, now step, now lift and tap, come down, and the left foot last time. Tap and lift, step, lift, tap, and come down. Good, just shake those legs out, shake those arms out. Great job, again, if you're having a little problem with this, don't worry. The poles are here to keep you stable and you're not gonna go from A to Z, I can say Z, but A to Z um, in one day. It's the small little steps that cover the long journey. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, you're now gonna tap one, three, tap the ground, step, bring it back to the middle. So let's go again, right foot. One, three, tap the ground, step, come back to the middle. Let's do it again, we're going only right foot. One, three, tap the ground, step. I was a little off balance there. I felt my weight not fully on my left leg. Let's go again, right, two more times. One, three, tap, step, come back to the middle. And last one on the right. One, three, tap, come to the ground, bring your foot in. Let's go to the left hand side now. Now remember, it's tap one, tap three, tap the ground, step, come back to the middle. Let's do it again. Tap one, tap three, tap the ground, step, and come back to the middle. We go again, here we go. Tap, 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 ground, step. Two more. One, three, tap, step, in, and the last one, one, three, tap, ground, in. Now watch, we're gonna change this up and we're gonna uh, add another little step in here and we're gonna swap sides. So if you wanna watch first, do, but if you wanna join in, we're gonna go slow. So you exactly the same start. One, three, tap, step. Now bring your foot together and come back to the middle. Let's do the right side one more time. Are you ready? One, three, tap, step, step, middle, middle. Now let's go to the left leg. One, three, tap, step, bring your feet together, middle, middle. Here we go again. We're not gonna go any faster right now, but I may advance that. Let's go again, right foot. One, three, tap, Step, step, back, middle. Left foot, one, three, tap, step, together, back to the middle. Right foot, one, three, tap, step, together, middle, middle. Left foot, one, three, tap, step, middle, middle, I mean together, middle. Last time through, right, one, three, tap, Step, together, middle, middle, last one on the left. One, three, tap, step, add together, middle, middle. Okay, great job. So again, what we're working on in here, you'll feel, it's not just the balance on the leg, but you'll feel how your feet pressure will change and alternate from the big toe pressure or the inside of your foot to the outside pressure. So next thing we're gonna do, let's step up on number one and number one, and just rock side to side. So some of you, this may be the first time you've been in one of our live classes, and the Tuesdays are always going at a slower pace, but don't mistake a slower pace for less effect. Often, so often, going at a slower pace, you will uh, gain more control than doing things at a faster pace where momentum would take over. We'd like to be able to do both, but we always start and make sure that we're connecting the best we can. Okay, so the next thing we gotta do, go your feet two and two, just rocking side to side. There you go, good. Now we're gonna to come to one and one, and rock side to side. There you go, go back to two and two. So your feet are just moving between the, the board. Make sure if you want to, you give yourself the freedom to check your feet when you move and then get your eyes up and your shoulders back so you work on your posture. Here we go, right foot goes to one, left foot goes to one, and just rock, there you go. And let's change it up again. 
Right foot goes to two, left foot goes to two, and just rock it out. Now we're gonna go one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two. So we're gonna be rocking on the board, but our feet are gonna constantly be changing out and in. So we're constantly going out and in. Are you ready? We start with the right foot. Right foot goes to one now. So we go one, one, now two. Right foot two, left foot two. Right foot one, left foot one. Right foot two, left foot two. Right foot one, left foot one. Right foot two, left foot two. Good, and just be walking as if you were outside and just begin to lift those knees just a little bit. So again, you get used to the change of pressure and the change of ground angle. And you're gonna see what we're gonna do in a second. Let's just go about 10 more seconds. Again, such a simple workout. And that's the beauty of the 60 up, is we can go crazy intense and super fast like we do when we do the running. And then we can take it all the way back and meet you where you're at. This is an exercise I think is great doing at nighttime watching the TV. Because again, your body's getting used to lifting and moving, and yet your attention may be on the TV. So you learn to multitask and the body feels itself without having to think about it. And obviously it's very safe. Good, last one. Bring your feet back to two and two. Now all you do is just rock. There you go, just rocking nice and, nice and simple. Now again, for some of you out there, and I love having you as part of the class always, um, this may seem very simple, but when it seems simple, don't mistake it again for easy. Because easy is where we stop the focus. Simple is when we know we can do it. So we're gonna just find a little bit, going back to basics again, put your feet on one and one. This is so simple, but it's the basics of all your central balance, being able to feel really comfortable and confident in your own stance. Okay, find the balance on one and one. Make those small adjustments, small little pressure point adjustments, and find that center, find that piece. Now, for those of you that want to, take your hands off. And just adjust, or keep them close by so you can grab if you want. Bend your knees very slightly, it's not a big bend, it's enough that you are not straight up and, and your balance is off because you're too rigid. There's a slight knee bend and find that balance. Good, move your feet to two and two. Just rock in side to side. Very good. Just nice and relaxed. Now, find your balance on two and two. Good, and the same thing goes again. Knees should be bent. You're up, you're lifted through your head, your shoulders are back, your eyes are up looking at the screen or looking even above the screen if you'd like to. And now if you want, with your balance, take your hands off if you feel better or keep your thumbs on or your fingers. There you go, good. And find that relaxation where the body and mind are one. You're in control of what's happening to your body and you're changing your body relative to what it needs, not relative to what you wanna do. Good, take your feet to three and three. And just rock side to side. There you go. You can feel the music today is very um, relaxing. This is not about working out, this is about reconnecting. Good, and find your balance on three and three. You'll find here that you'll have to bend your knees to make it really, um, make your uh, balance adjustable. If your legs are too straight, you won't be able to adjust. So very slight bend in the knee, and you'll feel a little bit more tension working on the inner thighs as well. You'll find your knees are pulling and the pressure is on the, on the ball of your foot. Good, come back to one on one. Good, just rock side to side. Now what we're gonna do here, I've got a little bit of a challenge for those that would like to take the challenge. And if you don't, it's okay. You can just go into here. When we balance, we're gonna play the piano. And the piano is gonna be on the poles. Good, so find your balance. Now what I want you to do is we're gonna multitask the brain to be thinking balance, but at the same time, your fingers I guess I could call this the flute really, right? Instead of the piano. But I want you to work your fingers. So you go thumb, forefinger, middle finger, fourth finger, little finger. So little finger, 
fourth finger, middle finger, forefinger, and thumb. So just work that up while you're trying to keep that balance. And notice how your brain is able to start figuring out the balance while it's also focusing on your fingers working. It's a great exercise and challenge. And when you do it right, you should congratulate yourself because it is not easy, but it is capable or you're capable of doing it. Good. Let's move your feet to two and two. Just rocking side to side, nice and easy. Again, feel a peace. Don't feel a stress. Don't feel um, a tightness in the body. There is no right or wrong. There's only doing it and getting better, which will happen if you're doing it. And because you're on the board and doing it, you're gonna get better. Now, as you press in here, you'll feel the pressure of your feet um, is a little bit more to the inside of, of the ball of your foot. Not quite over the big toe, but closer. Now, find your balance. There you go. With the balance, feel that place. Good. Now, can you walk your fingers down the poles and back up again while you're hitting that balance? Now, just notice the... Uh, I see some gardeners outside, and at the same time, my music just went off. Hmm. I guess this is what it's like when you've got the Oscars going on and there's a glitch backstage. This is just like the Oscars. Good. Now, just take your feet to three and three and just rock side to side. I'm gonna see if I can fix the music. So just rock side to side. Hmm. Well, the music isn't gonna come back on, it seems. I've had some problems with the uh, internet in here, but I hope the live feed is still working. Good, come and find your balance in the center. There you go. And again, find that peace, find that relaxation, and let's start walking the fingers. Again, be aware of your balance and correct your balance, and be aware of your fingers and keep your fingers working up and down the pole. It's not about being perfect, it's about being reactionary. See, when you begin to lose your balance, it's not because you're not good enough or because the balance wasn't perfect, it's because you've changed your body weight. Your body uh, transition has changed and it's not about not being able to be off balance, it's about how quick can you react. Hey, the music's back. So again, this is all about being reactionary because you can't move unless you can react. Good, and just move and just rock your feet side to side again. Much more relaxed, I feel very relaxed today in this whole workout. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, go to one and one. And all I want you to do is just walk. Now remember, if you wanna get water, stop and get water. Make sure that you stay hydrated. Don't get to the point where you're beginning to feel a little thirsty. That means you're already dehydrated, good. Now just lift your feet and we're just walking in here. Now, we're gonna uh, have an effect in here that should be really good. What I want you to do, in about five more seconds, we're gonna step back on the floor. Now take your right foot on the floor and just start walking. So you hear, then we're gonna step up and go onto the board and keep walking. Are you ready? And take the right foot up and just keep walking. I'm not sure if you can, uh, Near the gardener right now, and he's literally two feet, not even two feet. He's about six inches away from the front door with one of those blowers. Good, and take the right foot, step back on the floor, and just keep walking, nice and relaxed. Here we go, you ready? And take the right foot, step back up on one on one, and just keep walking. There you go nice and easy. So again, what we're learning to do is walk on an uneven surface. Now step back on the floor. And what used to feel difficult or unsafe on the floor feels so solid because having been on the, on the board where it wobbles, the floor feels so safe. Now step back up on the board. And we're going to change a little bit quicker now. Now step back on the ground. So you're here, feel safe. Now step on the board. So it's one, two, we're going four. Now step back. One, two, three, four. Step up on the board. One, two, 
three, four, step back on the floor. One, two, three. Last time, step up. One, two, three, four. Step back. One, two, three, four. And just relax. Shake out your arms. Feel how solid the ground feels. Something that was scary when, you're, when you don't have good balance, the ground can be really scary. So it's really important that you begin to go, hey, actually, I'm in control of the ground. The ground is in control. It doesn't move. And so if, when you're in control of yourself, the ground is your friend. I'm just gonna grab a quick mouthful of water. Feel free to join me. Mm. Okay. What we're gonna do now is a little bit more advanced, but we're gonna put our right foot in the middle of the board. For those of you that are the first time here, go through this nice and slow. And we are gonna go slowly, but don't worry. If it's a little nerve wracking, go at your own pace. Now, what I want you to do, leave your back foot on the floor. So if you look at it like this, my back foot's on the floor. And all I want you to do with your foot on the floor is the toe, it's not your foot, your foot back foot is just there to stabilize or feel comfortable, the ground's there, you can step back. But what I want you to do is, again, putting your foot as if it was like this on the ground. I want you to rock the board side to side, but keep your weight on your front leg. And as you're doing that, push on the little toe, this is your right foot. Now push on your big toe, little toe. Now push on your big toe and little toe and push and notice how the strength begins to come back in your feet. You're in control of where your pressure points are. Good, step back on the ground, change your leg, left leg. Goes right in the middle, go up so the toe is on the, on the ground behind you for your safety, you can always step back, remember. And in here, now push with your little toe on the left, push with your big toe. Little toe, big toe, little toe, big toe. And just rocking and feeling how your ankle, your thigh muscle because your leg is slightly bent. Feel how strong that muscle is working and getting stronger. And all you're doing, I, I could even do this without holding onto the poles, but I like to hold on. But don't let the arms do the work. Let the foot do the work. Good, and step back. We're gonna go right foot again. Step up on the middle of the board. Put the toe on the back, on, the, uh, on your back leg on the ground and start pushing side to side, nice and relaxed. Good, knee is bent, front knee is bent. Don't lean too far forward and push. Big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe. Now come back, find the balance in the middle. We're adding this little bit in here. Find that balance, good, and step back. Change, left leg goes up. Go on the toe at the back. Now push, little toe, big toe, little toe, big toe. Good, and keep that board rocking. Feel how solid your foot feels on the board and feel how you're controlling by changing the pressure, your ankle, your knee strength. We're strengthening up the ligaments in the knees, the, the tendons and ligaments going through the ankle and feeling that foot. Now find your balance in the middle. Good, hold it and come back to the ground. Shake that out because again, I know that that I can feel my muscles are working really hard. I can feel a little bit tiredness. So let's go into a little butt kickers in here. There you go, good. So we've got a couple more exercises we're gonna do today. I'm gonna step up on one on one and just rock side to side. Now, what I want you to do is go up on your toes and rock side to side. You don't have to go all the way up but rock in side to side on your toes. There you go, good. And feeling how, when I'm on my right, my little toe on my right foot is engaged and the big toe on my left foot is engaged, switch sides. Feel how on the left, my little toe on my left foot is engaged and my big toe on my right foot is engaged. And just keep swapping and now we speed it up a little bit. Good, and bring your feet back down. Take your feet to two and two. There you go, good. And now we'll do the same thing. Go up on your toes and just rock side to side. My knees are very slightly bent, very slightly bent. But again, I'm engaging my feet. And again, if you look from the side, my heels aren't hugely up. They're just enough up that if I was walking, it's a normal um, toe goes on the ground first and then the heel. Um, 
it's actually, if I look at it, it's more like as your foot leaves the ground, your heel comes up and your toe is left on the ground. They've got to have that stability. Good, come back down, keep rocking. Now go to three and three. Again, a little harder in here, but go up on your toes. Knees stay bent and rock side to side. So again, we're really engaging the ball of the foot and learning to strengthen those toes. Now I've had a number of people reach out to me with their um, own struggles that they're having, whether it's drop foot, whether it's like a, um, a frozen foot, uh, different things. Go, just keep going. And these type of exercises where you're exercising, bring, come back to a one-on-one. -on -one. The type of exercises where you're learning to control all the way from the brain to the toes will help with the um, new neuron connections, neuro connections, to be able to go. If it doesn't work straight away, keep working at it because whatever you want to do and you put the attention on it will have a better engagement than giving up or not believing. Good, so what I want you to do now is just rock your feet. So I bring, I push on my right, lift my left heel. So again, I begin to work the sole of the foot and loosening it up. So I go all the way from flat to toe, flat to toe. I bring my heel back down as I push. Again, loosening those feet up. Now, we often forget how important feet are in balance because we think about the major muscle groups, the thighs, the core, um, you know, your leg power. But the only point of contact on the ground is your feet. Or hopefully it's the only point of contact. So we've got to make sure that we really work the feet to become more supple and stronger so they have the power to push back as you begin to lose your balance. Good. What I'm going to do now is just walk nice and slow again. Doing great. Again, very simple. I said at the beginning, this is going to be a very simple workout, but we are working on stamina by keeping going. We've been about, uh, I'd say about 40 minutes into the class right now. Uh, sorry, 30 minutes almost in the workout and you're still going. Good, take your feet to two and two. Good, what I want you to do is just rock side to side. Now, join me on this one if you want to. If not, just do one eye. What I want you to do is just rock side to side and I want you to just close your eyes. We're only gonna close for about five seconds. Are you ready? Close your eyes and allow the rock. Go really slow, because I want you to feel you're in control of your body. Allow your brain to feel what's happening. Good, open your eyes. There you go, good. We're gonna do it again. This time, try and be even more aware of the pressure points and allow, instead of worrying about what's happening, allow yourself to feel safe and comfortable. Are you ready? Close your eyes and feel the pressure as you rock side to side. Feel how you're in control, your brain is controlling your body. You only rock because your brain is telling you where to push. Open your eyes slowly. There you go, good. Now what I want you to do is come and, we're on two and two, come and find your balance. We do the same thing again, we're gonna close our eyes for five seconds. And what you'll notice, to begin with, you'll actually begin to lose your balance and then find that center, only five seconds on, five seconds off. Are you ready? And close your eyes. Good, allow yourself to find that middle, and open your eyes. Good, even if your balance goes off, and I'm pretty confident it will, because we're tapping more into the body, when you open your eyes, notice how much um, more comfortable you feel. We're gonna try it again, are you ready? And close your eyes. There you go, just allow yourself to adjust without vision. Now open your eyes and let your eyes and brain work together because you feel so much more confident in your surrounds when your eyes are open. Go, we're gonna go one more time. Are you ready? And close your eyes. Good, see if you're more aware of your, of your feelings. Good, and open your eyes and come back and find that balance in the middle constantly working very good what I want you to do now is step off the board so push with the left step back on the right now feel your balance now what I want you to do is close your eyes for five seconds and feel how solid the ground feels close your eyes feel your toes in the ground feel your heels on the ground feel your big toe and feel your little toe outside the foot and open your eyes 
So just watch me for a second. What I want you to do, and, and keep thinking about it, when you close your eyes, feel the pressure on the front of your toes. Don't have to lift your foot. I want you to feel the pressure, like your weight. Now I feel it on my heels. Now I feel it on the outside of my feet and then on the inside of my feet. You got to go with me again. Here we go. Close your eyes. Without moving your feet, just feel the pressure of your toes on the ground. Now feel the pressure of your heels on the ground. You may shift your weight slightly. Now feel the outsides of your feet on the ground and feel the insides of your feet on the ground and come back to the middle and open your eyes. So the last thing we're gonna to do today, actually there's one little cool down here, but the last thing I want you to do is here, open your eyes and just go into a small little knee bend and come and stand back up again. And small little knee bend and stand back up again. And I want you to feel how solid you are on your feet. If you wanna let go of the poles, you can. Now, this is one thing I'm gonna ask you to do actually. Don't let go, just slide your hands down the poles and come back up again. And slide down and come back up. The reason being, you'll see, you can always grab them if you need. Last one. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to close your eyes. Just watch me for one second. I close my eyes, I go into a small knee bend, I stand back up again. Small knee bend, Stand back up. Now, if you've had problems with falling, the last thing you want to do is change your, and you know, close your eyes. You want to see, but I want you to feel. So here we go. We're going to do five small knee bends. Hands around. You're going to slide. But if you get off balance and you want to grab those poles, grab the poles and open your eyes. Are you ready? Here we go. Boards in the middle. Shouldn't have any problems with keeping it there. And close your eyes. Here we go. Bend and come back up. That's one. Bend. Come back up, that's two. Bend, come back up, that's three. Keep that head up, bend. Stand back up is four. And last one, bend your knees. Stand back up and open your eyes. Good, if you're able to do that, well done. If you weren't and you wanna practice with just one eye closed um, or you wanna try this at a different time, that's great. And again, for those of you, I should have said this at the beginning, so we're starting out. Imagine your sofa, put, you know, put the board in front of your sofa so that at any point if you feel tired, you can just sit back on the sofa. It's a way to be very safe, especially if you're on your own and you're a little nervous. All I need to do is put the board a foot length so I can step on the ground in front of the sofa. Then if I don't feel good or I, I need to take a rest, you can sit back and go on to there. The other thing that's nice, if you're sitting on the sofa, you can lean forward, grab the handles and pull yourself back up. Okay, so last exercise we're gonna do, what I want you to do is just take little side steps going across from one side to the other. Now, a lot of people will say, why would you take small steps instead of just going across in here? Going across, I like small steps because it gets the brain moving really quickly and it's the small steps with speed that will help you save a potential fall because you'll put back up. The other thing is, when you go in here again, we go back to um, some of the messages that I've been said. Getting into small spaces, getting out of small spaces, getting into your pure church, uh, moving around people inside, a, you know, when there's, the chairs are tight. The movie theater, hopefully we'll get back there soon. Being able to move quickly and lightly into tight spaces is so important. Good, and just step side to side. There you go. So that pretty much wraps up our class today. It wasn't a hard workout, but what a challenge to be able to be connected from your brain to your body and going slower is much harder than rushing through things. So that's really the end of the class. All we're gonna do today is take your right foot, place it on the back of the board and just push forward. Your heel's on the ground, the board of your foot is on the board and just push forward, feel the stretch of the calf. We change, left foot goes here, feel that stretch again. There you go, nice easy stretch. Heels on the ground, ball of the foot's on the board. Let's go one more time. We did quite a lot of calf exercise today and stretching is really important. And change left foot, ball of the foot on the board, heel on the ground and just push forward. Beautiful, now come back to the center. Hold onto the top of the pole and just bend forward. Allow your arms, elbows to drop. Feel that little stretch. And come and stand back up again. Shake your legs. 
Great job. I really wish I could watch you working out. Um, I've had some people send me videos recently of them working out privately um, through uh, either customer service or through our Facebook and I love seeing you work out. It's amazing to see the results and even when you're not stable, how great it is watching you do the exercises. Good. Hold on to the poles. Bend forward. Knees are very slightly bent. Bend forward. Feel that stretch down the back of the legs and slowly straighten your legs and then bend your legs and straighten your legs and bend your legs. Good, and come and stand back up again. Shake those legs out. Last exercise, bend both knees, put your right hand on your right knee, slide it down and just pull your leg up. There you go, put it back on the ground. Left hand goes on left leg, slide it underneath the knee, hold on to the pole for your balance. Go up on my toe, lift the leg up, and then just pull the leg back. If this is as high as you can go, that's great. If you can go further, you can pull that leg back as well. Good, and shake your legs out. Very good, just shake the arms out, roll your shoulders, loosen up. And I'm gonna grab my water, and very quickly, and come in and say thank you. As you can see, um, as you can see, I'm not really sweating too much, but I absolutely loved the simplicity of what we were just doing. Um, I'm going to go back from the beginning. We've got Kirk, obviously, Audrey. You better have done it, Audrey. Shirlene, I know you're now on YouTube. When you're watching this, you're not here anymore, but you are on there. So thank you so much for the message. Um, Sarah Heddington, nice to see you here. I know I'm not sure you're watching anymore, but thank you so much for being here and stopping by. We've got an amazing community, amazing 60 Up family here. So everybody's welcome to come and join in. Uh, Vicky, um, I guess uh, you were not able to join in today, but you're going to do it later. So thank you so much for stopping by, saying hi, and have a great workout. I think you'll really enjoy this one because it's so relaxing. And for some of you that have done this today, if you feel great, come back and do it later. Because again, it's not a strenuous or stressful workout where you're straining the muscles. And this can actually be relaxing even before you go to bed at night. Um, Franklin, how you doing, Franklin? Thanks so much for stopping by. And uh, Abraham as well, AB, he's left a message down here, he was watching. Um, Abraham Villon Sr., a great guy. I'm very close with his son and uh, love to you guys in Peru as well. Um, Janelle, I'm glad you enjoyed the workout today. I think it's, uh, again, I really enjoyed it. And thank you so much for being here and always very special to have you here. And uh, let me know how your family's doing as well. Um, Kathy, you're gone again. Great to see you. I mean, you're here, you're gone. Uh, send my, my love to your family as well and to your boys. Always uh, great memories. Terme, uh, I don't know if you just joined in. Nice to see you and uh, Bella as well. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And uh, Catherine, you're struggling. I'm so sorry to hear you had a bad fall and you broken bones. And you're trying to get back to it. If there's anything we can do to help, please send us a message. But thanks for being here today. Um, the struggle will always get easier the more that you put in, uh, but smart, go slow, be safe always. And uh, oh, you're on the stationary bike as well, that's beautiful. Again, it's one of those things that you need to just go through really slow as you know, and I'm sure you're doing fantastic, but it's great to be here and, and be with you at this moment in time. So cheering you on, uh, I'm sorry that you had the bad fall, but getting back to it is the only way to move forward. So. For the rest of the day, wherever you are, care for each other, have a fantastic day, give yourself care and surround yourself with people that, are, that want to embrace the, the character you are and, and be kind. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.